Hi everybody, and welcome to my first Yankee Candle video for a while. I um, thought it was about time. I'm not going to be able to write a blog for about a week or so, so I thought I would tie things over with a video. And I'm going to review some of my latest, almost seasonal purchases, and then I'm going to give you five of my favourite um, autumn treasure Yankee Candle fragrances that uh, you'll either know or you might want to hunt them down because well I think they're very nice um, and I'll try and describe them for you. So let's kick off with um, my latest purchases. Uh, these two here uh, came from QVC who have still got a nice trio available of Cotton Candy, Granny Smith and Coconut Bay which I won't be covering today. It's not one of my favourites but there we go. And also I'll be talking about Harvest Welcome which I bought. So let's start with the earliest seasonal fragrance and this is Granny Smith and Granny Smith has been around um, in the UK for about a year or so um, via, I'm not sure if some of the Yankee Candle outlet stores have had it, but Yankee Candle certainly had it as a special appearance. Some of the larger Yankee independent retailers have had it, QVC have brought it, so reasonably widely available. And it's the first time I've ever had it, so it was quite nice to, to get hold of it. And it's slightly similar to Macintosh, which is a very nice US fragrance, um, but it's it's got that little bit more of a spritzy, fresh apple feel about it, as you'd probably expect, because a Granny Smith is obviously quite sharp and crunchy and lovely, and it's got that kind of peeled apple um, aroma to it, and it's just a bit fresher than some of the other Yankee Candle fragrances. Um, in the apple variety that they do. Yeah, I really quite like this one. I can imagine, you know, me and my wife have been talking, we can't wait to get burning this one. It kind of seems like it could be a good all year round one. It's a really, I'm not a mad fan of sweet apple, which I know you can get out there. Um, that's widely available. Granny Smith's quite nice. It's got that extra little bit of crunch and freshness about it. So uh, I'll look forward to burning that one and you'll no doubt see that in my burn reviews over the next few months if we're brave enough to burn it because it's our only jar so let's get that one out of the way that's Granny Smith. The next one uh, everybody got excited about this one um, this year uh, coming over from the US it was brought out in the spring of this year I believe cotton candy and all everybody said throughout the spring on our Team Yankee Facebook group and on Twitter and everywhere else was are we going to get cotton candy are we going to get cotton candy it came to QVC, it came to the Yankee Candle Outlet stores, it came to Yankee as a special appearance, cotton candies, been everywhere. It's starting to disappear now. The QVC offer that's on at the moment with Granny Smith and Coconut Bay may be one of your last chances to get it. It's not on the Yankee Candle website anymore. Some of the other larger retailers that did have it haven't got it, so I'm not sure if it's going to be coming back to the UK shores again. If you want cotton candy, I'd get it. Now, the reason I was, I was really pleased to get this uh, now um, is, to me... This reminds me of autumn and Halloween carnivals and things like that. Uh, and those that know my sort of um, Lamax Halloweeny building type stuff will know that I've got a carnival area in there, and I'm looking forward to burning cotton candy one night with the carnival switched on and all the rides going and spooky stuff. So let's have a smell. And it's pretty much exactly as you'd expect. It's uh, in England, of course, Candy Floss is the name. In America, it's Cotton Candy. It's that very, very sweet spun candy. It takes you back to childhood, definitely. Um, very, very slight chocolatey tone. Not enough to put me off, because again, those of you who know me well with my Yankees know I don't like um, chocolate-scented candles at all. But Cotton Candy, it's really nice. It's really sweet. And to me, it's quite autumnal. Um, but any kind of fair or celebration or if you just like sweet treats, cotton candy, pick it up while you can if you're in the in the UK. Next one, particularly excited to get hold of, <laughs> and again for me it's been a quest of the label on this one over the years. Look at that, I mean that is that is autumn and Halloween to me in a in a picture. You know, you'd kind of almost like to blow that up and have that framed on a on a poster. Um, so I've looked at this for years and I, I counselled um, Deborah, one of the admins on our one of the American admins on our Team Yankee group privately for a while. I said, like, kind of, what's the best pumpkin scent? And we 
toed and froed and she didn't recommend Harvest Welcome and she said, oh, what about this one, what about that one? And then she kind of said, well, actually, I've heard now and Harvey, it may actually be something I'd really like. So I thought, well, I'll take a chance because I love the label and I think I'm going to like the scent. So I ordered a couple of these from America. Um, they weren't too expensive, they weren't too inexpensive. They cost me a little bit over the UK RP, but not much. Um, and blow me down, it's stunning. Harvest Welcome is, it, you can tell, uh, unless I'm really disappointed, this is going to be a knock the walls down strong scent, Harvest Welcome. It's very gingery, so those of you that, and I know there's quite a few of you that say, I can smell curry and candles, don't touch or go hunting for Harvest Welcome because you'll hate it. It's not curry, it's it got ginger in it. It's kind of got that kind of orange peel, um, aroma that you get in um, spiced orange and if those of you that know kitchen spice it's very spicy and I don't really know what pumpkin smells like I mean people buy jack-o'-lanterns in, in England but we don't really eat pumpkin that much in uh, in the UK well I don't anyway I eat pumpkin seeds they don't smell anything but it's got yeah pumpkin it, it just smells so autumnal and warm and welcoming and wow I'm really excited I definitely will be burning this one because I have two of them so you will be seeing that in my pen reviews soon. So anyway, now these ones here, these are five autumn treasures uh, that I just picked out as being something up autumn, they're not too hard to get hold of and they're all definitely favourites of mine. So again, I'll kind of go early to late autumn in, my, in the way I'll go through them, which probably means I'll start with this chap here. This is uh, Nature's paintbrush and regular readers will know I've been burning this a couple of times already this year now. Ah, oh, wow. When this was widely available in the UK, people just kind of thought it was a so-so type fragrance, but it's stunning. Nature's paintbrush, it's literally, if you're outside on a blusty autumn day, walking through the woods, and you breathe deeply in and you've maybe got a little bit of aftershave on, that's the smell. It's not your typical Yankee aftershave fragrance, it's very, very fresh very very outdoorsy very very stunning nature's paintbrush so uh, that September early October feel of the outdoors is captured perfectly in that beautiful strong scent okay uh, next one then um, let's have a look where shall we go from there I think we'll go for this one so you kind of got through September early October and it's harvest festival time and church services and farmers getting in there late harvests and all that kind of fun and harvest barn dances and things and there you go there's harvest now a bit of a strange label this one because it's kind of corn on the cobs and stuff but the smell of it is very unique it's very multi-layered those of us that love our complex yankee fragrances will sit and sniff around this one for hours on end it's got clove it's got pumpkin it's got all sorts in there. I can't really go into too much. I think you pick up something different every time you smell this one. It's really lovely, it's really unique and it's kind of a good all-rounder. No fruit in that one, no real aftershaviness. It's just a good all-round, lightly spiced, pumpkin-y autumnal fragrance. So that's Harvest. Three more to go. So that kind of takes you through early October, I guess. Then you go out for your late October walk and the leaves are really coming down off the trees now and Treehouse Memories is the next one. Now that's got a lovely autumnal picture, the leaves are turning bronze on the picture it's got a couple of kids on it which again not fan of people on labels, the Yankees seem to be doing quite a few more labels with people on which don't seem to be too popular with the fans, I don't know why Yankee do it, maybe the casual buyers don't mind it but Yankee fans definitely say to Yankee Candle, no people on labels please, so I hope that trend doesn't continue. Anyway, back to the subject. Apart from that, it's a lovely label of a, a wooden tree house in the woods with a late summer bronze fill, but the smell, ah, again, that's late autumn. If you can imagine putting a warm coat on, it's a chilly late October day, if we're lucky enough to get one. Again, it's blustery, it's musty, the, the, the earth sweat underfoot, you've got damp leaves on the ground. And that's what the smell, it smells like, damp leaves mixed with a heady aftershave. You know, you've put on your favourite coat that might still have a bit of cologne on it from your last walk, and you're walking through, you know, uh, a leafy street, and it's damp underfoot. 
that's uh, Treehouse Memories to use. It's a real mid to late autumn fragrance. Excuse me, I've just got to click there. Um, so that's that. I've got two more left. So that takes us through probably sort of late October. And then for me, the next one, it's all about, it's kind of into Halloween and early November and autumn wreath. Now, autumn wreath, this is a real sea change to the other ones. This is really fruity. It's very... It's very apple-y, it's got tiny bits of herbs and spices in there, but they're, they're buried in the mix. It's very, very warm and apple-y and lovely, um, and re reminiscent of an autumn wreath with fresh fruit in it that you'd possibly hang on the door. So definitely, you you know, you put your Halloween stuff away, uh, it's definitely getting darker in the evenings, you're waiting for Christmas too, it's got to be Christmas decorations, autumn wreath, let me have one more go, is... Fab. <laughs> and last but not least, late November, you still haven't got the Christmas decorations up, it's a cold night, you want to warm up. There's nothing better, probably, than apple cider. Um, and apple cider, again it's apple like autumn wreath, but without so much of the spice. It's a pure, lightly, lightly fizzy apple warmed, it's got that kind of warmed feel to it, so completely the opposite to Granny Smith where we started, which is the sharp refreshing, this is the deep warmed up apple drink, not necessarily alcoholic, although it could be, but like a warmed apple um, juice or hot apple drink, it's absolutely lovely and uh, I don't, we didn't burn it last year though, we bought it last year, it's so heavenly, I'm, I'm going to try and talk my wife into letting us burn it this year, but we'll see how we go. So that's my five autumn treasures. Uh, good luck in hunting them down, and enjoy if you've already got them. And my other three, I promise you I'll definitely burn these. <laughs> I'm promising you that with fingers crossed. I'll definitely burn these and review them in my coming weeks in my blog. So thank you for watching my first Yankee video for a while, and uh, enjoy your autumn, and um, I will talk to you soon. Thank you very much.